James Salazar, the technical director of Scuderia Ferrari. Uh, before we analyze the forthcoming Malaysian Grand Prix, I'd like to take a step back and uh, have your impression for the first race in Australia. Well, it was a race of mixed fortunes. We were happy, of course, to get a podium in our first race of the year. I hope we get many more and I hope too that we can be higher up the steps at some, some point in the future. That was good. Obviously what was bad was we had a DNF um, and we would of course like to be closer to the Mercedes, the winning cars, and that's where we want to be. So now we're on to Sepang, it's a totally different kind of track, totally different climate. Uh, how much are you looking forward to that? Well Sepang is obviously totally different climate. The track is not so different at the end of at the end of everything. We look at tracks in normally in, in two main ways. We look at how how sensitive they are to horsepower and how sensitive they are to downforce. Um, and uh, and if you look at if you look at Sepang compared with Melbourne in those ways, then Sepang is very similar to Melbourne. So a car that was at a certain level of competitiveness in Melbourne should really inherit that in Sepang. The difference is that Sepang is very hot and Sepang is therefore a challenge to keep both the car at the right temperature and also more critically the tyres at the right temperature. So management of those tyres is, is a bigger deal in Sepang than it was in Melbourne. Talking about tyres, uh, the track has always been known for using the harder rubber or, uh, on, the, on the Pirelli reins. Uh, does that pour a special uh, challenge for, for the car and the team? Um, well, once we get to the track, of course, uh, you sort of forget whether you're running hard, medium or soft. You've just got option and prime. Um, the interesting thing about Malaysia is that with the particular rubber that we take to that track, we normally can expect a fairly substantial undercut potential in the race. So the medium rubber, the, the option rubber on which we're likely to qualify, um, you want to get off that at a certain point and when you do and you go on to the new rubber then uh, then you find quite a big undercut possibility and uh, and that will uh, that will make make the race interesting strategic. It qualifies also challenging in Sepang because of the weather. Uh, sometimes uh, some cars uh, get cut off in Q1 just because not choosing the right time to, to hit the track. Uh, so is that something that uh, you're considering specifically? Well, I mean, every, every, every time our car runs, we have the benefit of uh, very careful weather forecasting to try to give us an idea of what the risks are during the sessions. So uh, we will be approaching both qualifying and the race with a very careful eye on the weather radar and on the forecast to try to make sure that we don't get caught out by, by the rain. And finally, what could be your reasonable expectation for both qualifying and the race in Malaysia? Well, let's assume for a minute that Mercedes don't make a mistake. So I think with the gaps that we saw in Melbourne, it's reasonable to expect that Mercedes will be at the front. However, we think we can be a fair bit closer to them than we were in Melbourne if we get everything right. We didn't get everything right in Melbourne and in Malaysia, we hope to. So I would hope that we can put our car in a strong third and fourth on the grid.